I guess a brief summary of some of the key findings from fire dynamics research are the understanding of a ventilation limited fire, uh, that it can present itself on the fire ground in many ways, nothing showing, heavy black smoke from a window or a doorway, or flames from a, a gable vent or flames from a window. All those represent a ventilation limited fire condition. Given the fuel loading that we have in our homes today, I think it's important to recognize that um, probably almost every residential fire that you're going to that's well developed, in other words, not just food on the stove, is likely to be a ventilation limited fire. And then when you have fires in basements or attics, again, due to that a limit of ventilation, uh, you're going to be going into that scenario. So the key thing to understand about that is, you need to have a coordinated attack because any ventilation you perform, additional ventilation you provide to a ventilation limited fire, such as just opening a front door or breaking a window or making a roof cut before the host crew is ready to attack is going to make that fire larger. It's going to increase the hazard. So that's a key point about ventilation limited fires.